Hi guys, it is the end of August and I have Birchbox versus Ipsy for you. This month, Ipsy like messed up or something in my favor because I got two bags. I wasn't gonna complain. I got double the stuff to show you guys. Woohoo! So let's just go ahead and start with Ipsy because I have a lot to cover. So here's the bag. It's kind of a cute pattern, pink zipper. Okay, so the first thing in here is this Star Looks Pro Luxe Longwear Eyeliner Pen. And this is $19. So this is one of those felt tip eyeliner pens. It is highly pigmented. It's easy to apply. The tip is not dry yet. We will see how long that lasts, but so far, so good with this one. I actually posted a picture of my kids with little kitty faces. June wasn't feeling well, I was trying to cheer her up, so I drew whiskers on them, and I used this, and those whiskers were on them until the next day, which, if you know toddlers, that's saying something. The next thing on here is this Batiste dry shampoo. You can get the full size of this for like eight bucks at Ulta. This travel size is four dollars. This is in the scent Blush, which is a floral and fruity scent. I personally cannot stand the way this smells. Everybody raves about this stuff, and I'm sorry, but this is awful. This is just dreadful. I don't, I can't understand why people go on and on about how great it is. Maybe they've never tried any other dry shampoo. I don't know. First of all, it feels like hairspray in your hair. Now, I like a little bit of texture, but I don't like that crunchy stiffness. Also, it leaves the worst white cast in your hair. I mean, seriously, I couldn't brush it out. It just made me look like I had gray hair. It was horrible. Okay, you ready for this? I'm gonna show you. Do you see that? Can you see this? I mean, it's like those Halloween hair spray paints. Look at that. Okay, now watch, watch. We're gonna let this dry a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna try to like rub it out. Okay, can you see this? It's just making my hair look gray. And if I were to brush it out, it would do the same thing. Can I hide that? Please tell me I can hide that. Ugh. <coughs> and I can smell it now. Why did I do that? Oh, I hate this stuff. I hate it. Moving on to something I actually like. This is from Swissco. This is the Soft Touch Slant Tweezers. You can get a two pack of these with like the big one and a mini for $10. So these are totally inexpensive and really nice. They're nice and sharp. They have a soft rubberized handle, whatever you call this. So it's supposed to be for like a no slip grip. And I just really like the way that it feels. They're really nice. I'm loving these. They work fantastic. So super happy to have these. Ooh, and this is on my nails. It's from Isla Cosmetics. This is the Luxury Nail Lacquer. The color is Mr. Pookies. Okay, so I go on their website and the description is like, the man that's manly but still will wear a pink shirt. You know, the one who you can call Mr. Pookies and he's okay with that. Or so, I don't know. It was some bizarre explanation of why they called it Mr. Pookies. So on the website it describes it as steel gray with purple undertones. I'm not getting the steel gray out of this. Definitely the purple undertones, but to me it looks more brown. Anyway, um, I have it on my nails right now. I also painted at my kids' school today. It was maintenance day and I painted the fence, so <laughs> my manicure got a little messed up. This brand is vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, you know, the five free, you know, it, it's got like nothing bad in it, and it is fantastic nail polish. The quality of this is so amazing. I actually got another one of these in some other box. I think it was like a Yogi Surprise or something in the color Namaste, which is a beautiful nude color. And I'm in love with that nail polish, but at the time they were $25. This one is only 17, which granted 17 is still a lot for a nail polish, but hey, it's less than 25. Anyway, if you ever get a chance, I really just highly recommend these nail polishes. I think that they are so nice. Such great quality. Moving on to lip gloss. So as I mentioned, I actually got two boxes and each came with one of these Hikari lip glosses. I have the colors Merlot and Salsa. They describe themselves as high gloss matte lip gloss. Matte? What? It doesn't even make any sense. Why would you say that? I don't think they know what that word means. Inconceivable. Yeah, not matte. They are very shiny lip glosses. Let me sh let me swatch these for you because they really are, you know, very nice if you like this sort of thing. So this is Salsa. It's a wonderful creamy, tomatoey red color. And the Merlot is a nice berry wine color. They're beautiful colors, really. 
I mean, look at that. And look how pigmented those are. That's crazy. But they're really shiny, and I just, I, I can't with the shiny lip gloss, so much color. Occasionally, I will wear sheer lip gloss, but not, it, I don't know. It's just not my thing. It's just not my thing, you know? Like I said, this would be great for somebody else, not for me. The lip gloss itself feels like a nice, long-wearing lip gloss. That kind of thick viscosity that makes it stick around forever, but it's not super sticky. So anyway, these are $13 each. So in my other bag, I got this Beauty Without Cruelty Leave-In Conditioner. So the way that I've been using this is I will just shampoo my hair, and then I don't even bother using my normal conditioner. I just get out of the shower and use this. And it's great. It detangles. It feels moisturizing. I've been really liking it. It has kind of a fresh smell to it. It's it's a mild scent. I don't know. It's nice. I like this. I also got this Eco Beauty by LA Fresh Group Goodnight Night Cream. A couple bags ago I got the Day Cream, which I really liked, except that it didn't have SPF in it. So I was excited to get the Night Cream, which is really nice. It smells like freshly cut cucumber, and it's just a really nice moisturizer. It soaks in. It feels very hydrating. Plus I really like the sample bag that it comes in. This is from Glamour Dolls. It's an eyeshadow, and the color is sorcery and it is very much a golden bronzy color. I have it on my eyes right now. I also have it on the tops of my cheeks as like a highlight. It's long wearing. It doesn't crease on me. It blends out really nicely. It's not so pigmented that you have to be careful with it, but it definitely builds up to a good amount of color, which is the perfect kind of eyeshadow for me. This is from Ofra Cosmetics. This is a lip liner in the color Wine. Why they named it Wine is beyond me, because this is not a wine color. This is like a nude color. I have it on my lips right now. Does that look like wine to you? No, it doesn't look like wine. But this is one of my favorite colors as far as lip liners go. I have several. It is very similar to Crema Spice from MAC, Whirl, which is very close, or NYX lip liner pencil in Natural. This definitely has a little bit more of a pinky tone to it. So this is really nice to have. I will add it to my collection of nude lip liners. So anyway, that is all of my Ipsy stuff. A ton of stuff. Super exciting this month. Moving on to Birchbox. Okay, so the first thing in here, another face moisturizer. This is from Air Repair, and this is the Complexion Boosting Moisturizer. The full size of this is $20. This you can wear day or night, and it's just supposed to be like a healing kind of moisturizer that just repairs everything. And I do find it to be really, really nice. I thought that it soaked in right away. It didn't leave my skin feeling greasy or anything. It definitely felt hydrated. So this is nice. I definitely like this. This was my sample choice. This is from Kula. This is the SPF 30 Organic makeup setting spray. The full size of this is $36. It is supposed to be matte, which I will say yes, it definitely does look matte, or at least not shiny. You know how most setting sprays leave you with kind of a dewy look? This does not at all. However, it feels greasy like you've just sprayed sunscreen on your face. It feels very greasy and that greasiness does not go away. So that is my major issue with this. Also, it is chucker box full of alcohol. So when you spray it on, it can kind of sting your face if you're sensitive to that sort of thing, which of course I am. So, uh, you know, that's, that's not my favorite. It is a chemical sunscreen, but this kind of thing for me is really nice to have if I know I'm going to be outside all day and wearing makeup. Now, if I'm not wearing makeup, I'm just gonna put more sunscreen on. But if I am wearing makeup, say I'm at a baseball game or something outside, prolonged period, you really do need to reapply your sunscreen. It will not last you all day. And so this kind of thing comes in handy. And because it's, oh my God, I have lip gloss all over my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe off these swatches, hang on. As I was saying, it is great if you are going to be outside all day and you need to reapply your sunscreen, but you don't wanna mess up your makeup. Now, your face doesn't look greasy, but it will feel greasy. For me, I didn't find that it prolonged the wear of my makeup at all. You know, I did one of those days where I did half with and half with nothing, and my makeup wore the exact same all day. So at least it doesn't deteriorate my makeup or anything. And I really appreciate the ability to apply sunscreen without screwing up my makeup. That's really what these are good for. I also have the Super Goop one, so I will probably do a comparison review of those two. If you're interested, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you will know when that comes out. Okay, so the next thing in here is this 
Aranco Death Valley Dry Shampoo, another dry shampoo. And comparatively, this one is fantastic. I love this one. It has a very nice scent. It doesn't have any sort of white cast at all. The spray is really nice. It adds a little bit of texture without making your hair crunchy and dry feeling. It's a really nice, high quality dry shampoo. Okay, so this is from Saint Tropez. This is a gradual tan in shower. The full size of this is $25. So what you're supposed to do is in the shower, you wash your body, and then you turn off the shower, you rub this all over, you let it sit for three minutes, and then you rinse it off, and then just pat dry and go about your business, and you will gradually get a tan. Okay, so right there, I'm like, yes, this is right up my alley. Normally, I use the Jergens gradual tan stuff, and it's like 10 bucks, and I love it. I go through several bottles a summer because that stuff is awesome. So I was really excited to try this, and I used it all over my body. I don't know if the camera is picking up on this, but my face is quite pale compared to the rest of my body. I am wearing my darkest foundation with a lot of bronzer, I could not make myself look any darker. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to go and buy a new foundation because I am so tan right now because of this. Now, part of the reason is because I misused it. It's true, I did it, I admit. So for the first two times that I used it, I followed the directions and I could see a little bit of a gradual tan coming up and it was nice and it didn't look too orangey. The third time that I used it, excuse time here, my daughter's been sick all week, I haven't been sleeping, my brain isn't all there. So I was in the shower, I lathered up with this, and then my kids come running in and they want this and they, you know, they want me to get out of the shower and I, 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 I just forgot, I forgot to rinse it off. And you know, when I'm running around air drying, I put my PJs on, I go to bed, the next morning I wake up and I am a brown biscuit. I am so dark. I, it's a little on the orangey side, I will have to say that, but I tend to be on the orangey side anyway, so it doesn't look totally unnatural. It is not at all streaky, which I was really afraid of. I have actually used other Saint Tropez tanning stuff, and my husband made me promise to never use it again because it smelled so bad. This stuff doesn't have that scent. It actually smells really nice, and if you use it like you're supposed to, you will get a nice, delicate, gradual tan. However, if you're in a hurry to get a tan, all you have to do is leave it on overnight and you will be super tan. So there's my little tidbit on that. The last thing in here is from The Balm Cosmetics, which I just adore. This is Balm Desert. This is a bronzer blush. The full size of this is $21. So in the pan, it actually looks like it's really brown. I was like, how is this a bronzer blush? It's totally brown. But then I put it on and it was like, whoa, that's really pink. I mean, you know, bronzy pink. It's a bronzer blush. I mean, and that's what it looks like. I'm wearing it right now and I don't have any blush on, just this. And it's just a really beautiful color. It goes perfectly with my skin tone. And I don't think that it's too dark or too light. It's buildable. It blends out beautifully. It has kind of a satin finish where you get a little bit of a glow without it being shimmery. I don't like a lot of shimmer on my cheeks. I just find that it makes my skin look muddy. So this is really nice. I just love this. I think it's beautiful. I pretty much love everything from the balm. Okay, so finally finished with all of that. I know, I had so much stuff this month. <laughs> Even though Ipsy had an unfair advantage this month, I really do think that I liked my birch box better. Everything in my box was amazing and I was super excited about everything. So, thumbs up to birch box this month. Not that I didn't get some fabulous stuff in my Ipsy. I always love to hear what you guys got in your boxes and if you had different opinions on these products, like, okay, who likes this stuff? Explain to me why you like this stuff, because I don't get it. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!